An ancient relic has been found. Preliminary studies of it indicate a location of immense power on the planet Tamara and the device that is the key to opening it. Four factions vie for control of this discovery, each seeking the secrets and the power it holds. Control of both the map and key is necessary to decoding, finding, and opening the vault. The Adeptus Mechanicus had the key portion, but before they got a chance to study it in depth, their sky base suffered catastrophic damage at the hands of a Tau aerial assault aimed at retrieving the key. They now wait in their orbiting fleet, repairing and rearming, and watch helplessly as their sky base plummets to the ground, the key falling with it. Assets are already being mobilized to search the wreckage and recover the valuable lost tech. The sky base has fallen. The Tau assault was no more than a distraction for stealth teams to plant devastating charges to bring it down. A sacrifice for their greater good? Or was it? And now corrupted creations of the Adeptus Mechanica stride across the downed Sky City, seeking knowledge and vengeance. Knowledge of the power source that thrums deep within this planet, and vengeance against its progenitors, the servants of the False Emperor. The Adeptus Mechanicus have summoned the forces of Forge World Mars to defend its downed property, and in doing so, are forced to scramble for their very lives in service of the Machine God and the Holy Emperor. Only one of these two forces may claim victory. This is 40k in 40 minutes, Champion Edition. This match, in fact our entire championship series this year, is brought to you by Frontline Gaming and their new 40k mat sizes. No need to cut your own, folks. They have tons of the new sizes in stock. They also have the new Convert Your Mat strips in as well, so you can take your existing mat and make it the new size if you're so inclined. We love having the new size mats to play on for this championship and are super happy to have Frontline on board as a sponsor. Be sure to check them out at FrontlineGaming.org and tell them PlayOn sent you. Hello fans, JT McDowell here with another semi-final episode in our ongoing Season 2 Tournament of Champions. Today we see Child of Chaos, Tycho Imaga himself, face off against Tat Kawana and the forces of the Adeptus Mechanicus. My name is Tak, and I'm going to be playing the Admech throughout this championship. So the Admech base has crashed. Something happened, I'm guessing it was the Tau, but the Admech base has come crashing down to the planet's surface. And now all of our secrets are out in the open. So the Admech have come down to the planet to recover all these secrets and get everyone out. Tack has brought the big man himself, Belisarius Call, and a force of Forge World Mars that is definitely one to be reckoned with. Accompanying Call are a Daedalosis and a Manipulus. He's brought Vanguard, Breachers, Destroyers, Infiltrators, Sky Stalkers, Castellans, and Scorpius Disintegrators to grind forward and take the low ground, while the skies are contested by an Archaeopter Stratoraptor. That's a ton of firepower to be sure. Tycho is a super fun opponent. I'm really excited to play him. I've had his number in public play in terms of like tournaments, but now that I'm looking at this particular list, I'm a bit nervous. Tycho's brought a tyrant, and the Admech are glass cannons. We can't really take a punch, and that thing can dish out a lot of punches. I am Tycho and I'm playing Chaos. Chaos always wins. <laughs> I have some mixed feelings. I need to destroy Tack, but it's been a difficult task to date. Tycho is bringing one of the most feared single models in modern 40K in the form of the Knight Tyrant. His name is Eval the Undefeated. He has never been defeated. He has never been felled by enemy fire, and he is here to destroy everything. He is flanked by two war dogs and supported by a plague company of pox walkers and a rhino, demon prince of Nurgle, two fetid blow drones, and a plague burst crawler. I can verily see them oozing from here. Yeah, definitely the Mechanicus can put down firepower that I can't argue with, so I'm gonna have to be cagey, stay on my objectives, and not die. So I'm gonna try and make sure to be a little bit more cagey this time out and not get myself in sticky situations by staying in formation. Some order to the chaos. The mission we are playing today is the scouring from the 2020 Grand Tournament book. 
five objective markers are placed, and players will score five primary mission points for controlling two objectives, five more for controlling three, and five more for controlling more than their opponent to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 overall. For secondary objectives, TAC has chosen Engage on All Fronts, scoring two points for having units in three table quarters and three for all four quarters. Something he should be able to score relatively easily with his superior unit count. Bring it down, gaining two points every monster or vehicle killed with less than 10 wounds and three for each with more than 11 wounds and raise banners. Infantry must perform this action while controlling an objective and may not do anything else that turn. Tax small guns don't really hurt that night, so it's not a bad choice. Tycho has chosen Grind Them Down, gaining three points per each turn in which he kills more units than Tack does. It's a good choice with that knight tyrant in his list. He's taken Bring It Down as well, as Tack's got a lot of vehicles, and that's going to score him points, and Domination, scoring three points for controlling more than half the objective. Looks like Tycho's going to be aggressive, and that's a great choice of secondary for that type of play. Which means I don't have to do anything but kill you guys. Yeah, basically, yeah. Right. I, I see how it is, Tycho. <laughs> I see how it is. I am a simple man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm taking a battalion, uh, and my warlord, which is the Manipulist, is in that battalion. I am going to spend a command point to give a warlord trait to call, so that increases his aura range by three inches. My warlord is uh, my tyrant. He has master of none, or master to none, actually. So not only is it gonna be hard to take down him the first time, he might I down. might have to take him down a second time. <laughs> That's right. This is great. <laughs> and then you had to send CP on the second battalion, or the second patrol? I did. I paid two command points for my demon prince, is got the supplicating plate. I think Tycho's knight needs to do some serious work. However, he really needs to get that demon prince in early and often. The separating plate relic is meant to be in combat, and he can do some serious damage to tax forces from there. Because he's got a, actually won't reach. He's only got a nine inch, I have to say outside of nine inches. It's going to be the moment. My pox walkers will be aboard my rhino. Zombies in a rhino. Zombies in a rhino. And it looks like a zombie rhino. It does look like a zombie rhino. This is the whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming together. All right. I will have my Traxi sky stalkers in the sky. And then I will also have, because uh, the infiltrators also have the native rule that allows them to go into deep strikes, so they'll be uh, in reserves. No other reserves, okay. So nothing's gonna be popping off the side of the map at Nothing me. is popping, no, all, all of my guns are on the field ready to go. Right. Not a lot of room for TAC to deploy. There's a lot of intervening clouds that obscure. However, the knight has too many wounds to benefit from that. I just think, uh, oh! I'm also gonna roll one. No, oh, I, oh, oh, no, no. So then I'll choose to be the attacker. I will choose this fiery end because it has more explosions in it. We go into deployment now. And I'm the defender. You are the defender, yeah. Hilariously. Maybe the sky base came crashing down on you. Maybe. And now you're uh, defending. My, my, this is my bits and pieces. Yeah. The small deployment zone means Tax gonna have a hard time fitting all his units in. He's got some places to hide, but he really needs that first turn in order to get to some measure of hiding and away from that knight's big guns. Sneaky, sneaky disintegrator. Sneaky or just putting him where I have space? That's kind of <laughs> what counts as sneaky in this game, doesn't it? Looking at deployment, and Tycho has placed his war dogs in a bit of a precarious place. If he goes second, they're gonna suck up fire that would otherwise hit the knight, sure, but he could lose them early, and he really needs them to pressure tax Mechanicus Castle. I only got one deployment left. Well, look at there. There's, there's a whole bunch of things to shoot over there. How are you feeling, Tycho? I'm feeling good. Because I'm feeling nervous. Okay. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> oh! This time round, with that much firepower, I don't know if I can go second and weather the storm. So this is going to be interesting. The tack thing is to go second. Yeah. So I'm going to go first. Well, I don't think I've ever gone before you in a game in public. Really? Never. Never? Never. I've always gone first? That's right. Tack starts pregame with 11 command points to Tycho's 7, as he's chosen to outflank his flesh mower bloat drone. 
All right, with Mars, I'm gonna choose uh, the canticle, uh, the Mars specific one, and I'm gonna have plus one strength to my heavy weapons. Pangyric progression, the Mars specific canticle, giving no penalty to move and shoot heavy weapons, as well as plus one to their strength, is amazingly powerful in a list like Tax versus a list like Tycho's. All those high toughness vehicles don't matter when all your heavy weapons are plus one strength. No one unit is key, save maybe that Manipulus and its ability to add to the ranges of allied units around it. If that unit falls, Tack will be forced to close with Tycho, a place he does not want to be. So this is an uphill battle. And then I will start moving. So... Tack gains a command point and goes to 12, and he started spreading out as much as he dares here. I'm going to advance the uh, Skitari. Ooh, Tax not raised banners this turn as his vanguard had to advance, and you may not advance and perform an action in 9th edition 40k. That secondary scores you points at the end of every command phase, and this could be a big deal in future turns. Tack is losing out on points. Oh, love this move with the Stratoraptor. Anything Tack can do to slow Tycho from pressing down table will help him, even if it means he loses the plane. Plus, even if Tycho shoots it down, he can blow it up on purpose with Vengeance of the Machine Spirit for one command point. That should make our Nick happy. Stuff blow it up! That is it for my movement phase. Well, let the shush thing begin! Starting the shooting phase, I might as well go for it. I'm going to go into Bionic Override. Oh, we've seen this move before. Tax using Bionic Override for one command point and locking down those Castellan robots to drastically increase their output followed by Elimination Volley for two, so the Destroyers and the Robots both gain plus one to hit. He's also spent one on Raptorial Strafing Run, giving that Archaeopter Stratoraptor plus one to hit against non-flying targets. It drops him to eight command points in his very first shooting phase, and it looks like his hope is to cripple Tycho as much as possible as soon as possible. After all, if a model's gone, it can't shoot back. I've got two heavy uh, Plasma Destroyers going into the Tyrant, and then two going into the uh, War Dog with the melt lance So, you know what, we'll do the melt lance first. Uh, we're gonna get six shots, so I'm gonna be hitting on threes. Rerolling all of it because of... Um, call. Call. Ooh, a so, one. A one, so that means one dice. Yeah, resolve all these hits first. So right? three, six, seven, eight total? Yeah. That's, That's all of wounds. Them. Your left hand is pretty good. My left hand did pretty good. I got a five up point save. Yep. 10 damage, ouch. Yeah, and then uh, one of them dies. The other two are gonna go into the uh, Titan. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. Uh, I'm going to command point reroll that one. Cause I need more shots. No ones, My please. ones? Of oh, course. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow, all right. <laughs> now these are strength nine. So they're actually wounding a Titan on threes. Uh, oh, that was not good. Oh um, boy. Yeah. That was not good. And I already used my reroll, so that's five. Ooh. A lot of ones. Yeah. Um, so that is six damage if you let that go through. He's down to 22. War Dogs are only T7, eh? Yep. Interesting. Okay. Then uh, that changes my plan a little bit with the bird. So I'll put the um, Phosphor Blasters into your War Dog. So there's two of them, heavy uh, three. So there's six shots, hitting on twos. Strength seven, so these will be winning on fours. Two at AP, two, one damage each. At post my involvement. <laughs> you cannot make the save his life. Oh, all right. Down he goes, let's see the bows. Usually you jump up in joy for uh, when you do a kill. However, he's got so many threats still on the board that it's like. All right, so last cannons, these are what matter, into the uh, tyrant. They both hit because I'm hitting on twos. And you make the save. Zing, veil of me. Yeah, all of my my arc rifles can see, so they're all gonna go into the. Um, oh, they've got extended range too, don't they? They do. Yeah. So here we go. They are hitting on fours though, because they don't benefit from the plus one. So there is three of them, two shots each, hitting on fours. That's pretty good, but this is where I need fives. So <sighs> one. Uh, that's not gonna get through your uh, veil. Oh, it gets through your veil. I'm going to use a CP to re-roll that. Okay. Yay! Three to six. The robots are going to pump everything that they have to the uh, war dog. Tycho rotating ion shields here to increase his invulnerable save on his war dog uh, for one command point, and using one more on the re-roll, that leaves him with five. So robot number one, 
Hitting on threes. Um, and lots Only of sixes. Everything hit. <laughs> Wounding on fours. Ten wounds. Ten wounds from the first robot. Hot potato. Second robot, doing the same thing. Oh, wow. All right, so that one gets that, that one gets that. Will I survive? Will he survive? Glass robot. Glass <laughs> robot. Oh Deep my deep. gosh, look. For the Dark Gods! He's dead. Oh. <laughs> well, looks like you perfectly used your, uh, your elimination volleys there. I'm going to go into shooting the um, disintegrators now, and every single disintegrator has uh, three stubbers, 3D3 Belarus cannon, and then they have a D6 missile launcher, okay? Uh, so this one, I'll do the first one, and he's going to go to the Rhino. So I will do the Belarus cannon first. That is not a four shots. Woohoo! They're typically strength six. They go to strength seven because it's a heavy weapon. Of course they do. Four wounds. Missile launcher. How many shots do I get with the missile launcher? I get six shots. Wow. <laughs> Oof. The Adepts of Mars shoot a lot, like a lot. He's taken out both war dogs and the rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, guys. <laughs> you definitely are that guy right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that it? <laughs> I've only lost like half my army. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Tack's going to score eight points for Bring It Down on his turn one, but as much work as he's done, I have to ask, was it enough? Losing the War Dogs is a loss for sure, and it does hamper Tycho's ability to press hard into Tack's line. However, he still has a Plague Burst Crawler as well as a Demon Prince. Okay, the Pox Walkers advance. Okay. Run! Run, little man, run! <laughs> yes! Hey, look at objective! Objective. Tycho's half of turn one here, and he really needs to get aggressive and kill, kill, kill. That tyrant can do it, though. He goes up to six command points to tack seven, and I believe the decimation is about to begin. So I'm gonna start with some auto hitting, because I like to auto hit. Okay. So my plague spewer is gonna take down that flyer. Okay, all right. <laughs> Two shots! Yay! <laughs> That's not a good start to a that. A wound! Minus one. Knights are a very expensive army to run, and that tyrant takes up over a third of Tycho's 1,750 points. Let's hope for his sake he can get that prince in and it can do some work. It's a bit of a tough spot for him. He really doesn't have much to keep his demon prince from getting popped with all of Tack's guns. It's too bad he didn't have points for wings on that demon prince. So entropy cannons are going to go after... Uh, I'll do it on the plasma. This here? Okay. Uh, two entropy cannons hitting on fives, leaving only ones. One hit? One hit. Three wounds. So I'm in cover, so that goes to a four up. Uh, I make one. How much damage? You take a one wound! I get a wound! <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. Spending two command points on Trail of Destruction is a good way to ensure maximum devastation. All right, um, I don't like robots. <laughs> <laughs> You have robots of your own. So, uh, well, no, I only have robot of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Rerolling all hit rolls if you so choose, and that's gonna ensure that some serious hurt is gonna come out of that night. Uh, so that means battle cannons into the plasma. Yes. Melta into the flyer. And everything else into your robots. Got it. Awesome. Uh, let's start with the battle cannons. Okay, so they're going to the uh, Cataphron destroyers. And that's 43 shots? That is 43 shots. Ooh, that is really good. Yeah. All right. Melt the shots into the flying guy. Hitting on fours, because you're flying around. I am in, yeah. Wow. So he's taking uh, six, okay. so he's down to four. Start with the shield breaker missile. Into the robot. Yep. Hits. Hits. There's five. Five ones. All right. So. Plasma supercharge. Here we go. The hitting Here has been go. on point. Here we go. Oh, can that tyrant ever put out some serious power? The Castellan robots are just gone. That's a big threat deleted. 
So no more plus one to hit shenanigans from Tack, and more importantly, it opens up that midboard for Tycho to charge through. He did use one more command point on a reroll, leaving him with only three, but he's going to score three points for domination and six for bring it down at the end of turn. So we're at the end of the battle round, and Tycho, even though it felt and I know, it was, it was bad. There was a lot of shots that came your way. You lost a lot of models, but you've gone on to objectives. So next turn, I've got a major hill to climb to try to catch you there. That makes our end of turn one score nine to eight in favor of Tycho. I only ended this battle round with eight points to your nine. So I got eight for um, Bring Him Down because it took down two War Dogs and your Rhino. But you have Domination, which is fabulous because you were on a lot of objectives here. He also took down my big scary robots, right? Scary Not robots. having those against your Plague Burst Crawler or that um, is a problem for me. On to turn two. Reserves are due in for both players this turn as well, so that game within the game should be interesting to watch. Where what goes is as important as what gets shot down. Up to eight command points for Tack now to Tycho's three and rolling for his Canicles of the Omnissiah, Benediction of the Omnissiah gives him reroll ones for affected units. I'm not going to be stupid. I'm not going to actually go inside the cloud. That's just wrong. Uh, they're going to stay put and probably just raise raise the uh, the batter there. So uh, all I want to do is make sure that the entire model is within that quarter. That's all. Call will move forward so that he's still within six of him. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm just going to try my darndest to zone you. So uh, that is it for moving. And now I'm gonna go into my reserves. So I'm gonna drop my uh, infiltrators first. On an objective. On an objective. Interesting, no Taraxi coming in on this turn. I think that's a good call. Tack doesn't really need them this turn and they can be a real thorn in Tycho's side later. So I really like this call. It's a bit of a risk, but he really negated Tycho's board presence turn one. So this will further give him control, I think, as we go forward. Oh shoot, you know what? I totally messed it up. I guess I do have to declare that this is a hover. I didn't move it. Oh no, what's this? Tack forgot to move his Stratoraptor. Tycho was offered to let him do so, however, this is a championship and Tack has politely declined that offer. However, he has asked if Tycho minds if he drops it into hover mode. It's an option that the Stratoraptor has so it that no longer behaves like a full flyer. I think that's a fair compromise, I think. Neither player wants to win this game on a technicality. Okay. Uh, so moving on, end of movement phase, I will repair um, him. That flyer is in danger, however, of being heroically intervened on by the Demon Prince. It can charge now, however, so it should be able to get itself out of the situation unless Tack kills too much and it can't move. We'll start of the shooting phase. I've got eight whopping command points. I think I'm going to do strafing run. One command point on strafing run for the Archaeopter, and that's going to take him down to seven. And I got to wonder if Tack can actually hurt the Tyrant. My Cataphron Breachers are now going to target your Tyrant. They're hitting on fours, but re-rolling because of call. Sixes will render more hits. Um, these are going to be strength seven now. And winning on fives. Only one. Tycho already needs to spend a command point on a reroll, and wow, praise be to the Dark Gods for they smile on him today. He's down to two command points, but keeping that knight in top tier as long as possible is really a big deal. Plasma Destroyers will go into the Tyrant as well. So how many shots do I get? Uh, I get 11 shots. And these are going to be winning on threes because of the, uh, the Mars. So these are strict nine now because they're overcharged. So winning on threes, it's not bad. That is amazing. four, five, <laughs> Six, seven. That is broken the bank. We take six ones. Ooh, Divination of the Majos. What a great Warlord trait. That's a real winner here as Tack is scoring so many extra hit on sixes, it's ridiculous. Oh my god. Not extra attacks, mind you, straight up extra hits. Oof. And that six confers an extra hit, that six confers an extra hit, and these two sixes confer an extra hit. You're right, that Warlord trait is... Bonkers. Fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You've received like literally probably 25 or so extra Ex hits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> machine guns. I still have more guns. Um, I do need to check line of sight. I, nope. 
the dish blocks me from seeing those pox walkers. Yay! So I'm going to go with my out of line of sight gun okay. into the pox walkers. <laughs> <laughs> my missile launcher will go into the drone over there. My stubbers will go into the drone as well. Let's start with the stubbers. Four saves, no AP on the drone. If see I if I ignore them. I do not. I take three. three. Uh, and then the Belarus will go into the last box walkers. Uh, they... Oh. So that is five, six, seven. Seven saves. Yeah, yep. And then, yeah. And they're all dead. And just like that, that killed too much. Uh, I made a mistake. I can't charge away from them. <laughs> <laughs> I had this brilliant Everyone plan. Everyone intervene! <laughs> I had this brilliant plan and now I can't do it. What a problem to have on attack's charge phase and he's got to re-roll that charge so that he gets out of the range of the Demon Prince, taking him down to four command points to Tycho's two and he's in, but I don't expect much in the way of a fighting airplane. Slap, slap. Tack's going to score two points for engaging all fronts this turn only giving him a score of 10 so far to Tycho's 9, with Tycho still having his bottom of 2 in hand. Uh, Tycho goes up to 3 command points here, and he scores 5 primary objective points. Not a ton to move around here, he should be able to pop that plane as well as do some work with the knight. My bloat drone is coming in from strategic reserve! I'm not sure I agree on this, I'd like to see him pressure a bit more and really put Tack on the back foot. The psychic phase! I there should do psychic shenanigans! I think the prince is gonna give himself minus one to be hit. Not much at a psychic face, but all those guns are gonna go to work now. My shootings. Mm -hmm. Plague burst crawler in shooting into hand to hand with that transceptor archeo something or other. They're heavy weapons, so yeah, it's just minus one. Minus one. So I'm not, not bracketed, bracketed, so yeah. hitting on fives. Yep. One hit. No wound. Okay. Minus one. Uh, go through. I wounded something! Yep. Assuredly, he's gonna spend two points on Trail of Destruction again on his knight. I need to destruct things. Yep. I need to Here destruct them now! That should make for some serious firepower coming out of him yet again. My tyrant is going to split fire a lot. It so, is. So, starting with his volcano cannon, he's gonna shoot your disintegrator tank. Okay. His plasma disintegrator is going to shoot your others. You just had to go that way. Okay. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> He's chaos. <laughs> Crosses his guns. All right. Let's see and what And then the, <laughs> the battle cannons. Battle cannons will try and take out your plasma. Yep. And my siege breaker. Siege breaker will try and take out a breacher. Awesome. All right. Uh, you are hitting on fours because you're bracketed. But However, I'm rolling the works because yep. I did path. Yep. <sighs> and he, I still have a reroll possible because I haven't used it in the shooting phase. But. Yeah. So, let's start with a uh, Volcano Cannon. All right, I'm going to that one. Volcano yeah. Cannon into my Disintegrator. Yes. Oh. I nearly rolled that. <laughs> there goes my last command point. Command reroll my number of shots. Heading on fours. Five hits. <laughs> yeah, Tycho's spending his last command point on a reroll on the night to ensure a dead Scorpius, and wow, that's gonna play. Volcano Lance doing some serious work. Plasma. Plasma overcharged. 36 shots. Oh, that's Ooh, three wounds. wounds. Cause he loves killing himself. <laughs> oh, you still get back up though. Oh, I do. Uh, oh yeah, this is going bad. This is going badly. 4d3 shots at your uh, plasma culvern. Them. Him, them, yes. <laughs> the orange gunned dudes. Eight shots. Yep. Tack spends another command point on a reroll. Nope. Sorry. No avail. Leaves him with three. That's unfortunate. His battle cannons have killed one of my guys. And last but not least, Siege Breaker missile into your breacher. Breachers, yep. Yep. Uh, goes right through AP5, so you just go into your damage. D6, so three, you kill one. <laughs> Oh, and I get to charge things. First will be the prince charging, second will be the tyrant charging. In stomps the knight and the prince on the plane. I'm not sure if Tycho really needs to charge the knight in here. Remember, that plane can auto explode with its vengeance on the machine spirit, and it's liable to do more damage with that than actually fighting. All right, so the prince is now hitting the Archiraptor with his sword. Bashing things with a sword. That's a lot of bashing. Nope. 
Uh, I will burn a command point and auto explode. So we'll start with the prince because that's the one that blew him up. He takes one. The tyrant, I rolled a three, so he takes two mortal wounds for the exploding stratoraptor. And then now the plague risk crawler, we'll see how many mortal wounds it takes. It takes one. Yup. He blowed up good and spread around some carnage. But what a turn for Tycho. He scored three for grind them down for killing more units, five more for bring it down to make it 11 on that secondary, and three more for domination for a total there of six. That's a score of 25 to 10 for Tycho at the end of two. Jeez, at this rate, I wonder what turn three's gonna hold. You Brand. are off to a crazy lead at this point. Attack goes up to three command points and gains five for primary victory points. If I can take this guy down, then I'm in a much better spot. But if I do not take him down, I think the game will be yours. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh wait, uh, sorry, I need to do the canticles because that's important. Okay, uh, so I will, I get the heavy bonus. I don't get the reroll one so, so that's, that's really important. Mm, very aggressive play here from Tack, and boy, does he need it. Tycho's lead is not insurmountable, but it's substantial, and forcing Tycho back is going to be very important. They have 24 inch range guns, so I don't need to be too close. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to declare that you can't see me. Those Taraxi are setting up for a charge, and that's going to be needed. He really needs to pressure Tycho. Also, in addition to that, is uh, Belisarius Call can repair anything he's three inches away from. So I'm gonna do that. He repairs that tank D3. Only one, but that does take me back into my uh, top bracket. So that's all that I needed. Uh, how many was left on this guy? Ooh, he's taken a total of 23. So he's got five wounds left. Five wounds left. Can I do it? Beginning of the shooting phase. Um, this is really, really important. The, the prince is going to come in and absolutely do insane amounts of work <coughs> on anything that's over here. So that's really scary for me. However, the tyrant has to go down. If the tyrant does not go down, I am in trouble. So Take the Daedalus minute. is going to elect the tyrant that anyone within six inches of the Daedalus gets plus one to hit the tyrant. Gotcha. Okay. I will overcharge the plasma and he's going to go into the tyrant. Three, I'm going to have to take it. Hitting on threes, uh, all hit, but no sixes. Uh, wounding on threes, all wounds. So you need your four ups. He's alive. He's alive <laughs> with one. Yeah. So the disintegrator is going to split his shots. He's going to put his uh, missile launcher into the tyrant, mm -hmm. and then he's going to put his Belarus cannon as well as his three stubbers into the fitted book jump. So I'm going to roll for the. Uh, Amount of shots for the Belarus cannon first into the fitted blow drone. Uh, not very good. I'm only going to get four shots. Uh, so I hit with everything. I am wounding on fours because uh, it increased my strength by one. Uh, so that is three at AP one. These will do two damage each. So four disgusting resilience. Uh, yep, so you only took two. The stubbers, re rolling, and there's my sixes because, you know, stubbers seem to like to do that. Um, I scored three additional hits because of the six. Uh, and then these are going to be wounding on fives. Uh, four, no AP. So you take one, or you might take one. You don't take one. The missile launcher from the disintegrator is heading into the um, tyrant. So how many shots? I get three shots. Uh, that is two. Come on, Vale. Yeah, <laughs> the Vale. Double sixes. I am running low on shots here. I'm gonna send, I, this will probably be what wins or loses me the game. Ooh. I'm split firing with my Cataphon Breachers. One Breacher is going to head into this. I'm gonna choose this one in front so he has pure line of sight. Um, and I'm going to send this one into here. Um, and I completely forgot that I had plus one to hit. So, uh, but I will use it now. So the Cataphron Breacher that's going to the Tyrant, because that's super important. I get two shots. I need fives. I get one. The Veil! Made another six on the Veil. 
Then the second breacher, the one in front, so I'm not shooting through the cloud, will go into there. Hitting on fours, they both hit, plus one. Uh, wounding on fours. Uh, two. 2d6 damage. Four. Need to hit three of these. The drone of Nagel! Oh, so close. 20. Okay, so the only thing he can hit is the, uh, the prince. Minus one to hit. Minus one to hit. The manipulus hits on threes, I believe. So, five ups either way. Yep. Oh. He made his fourth six. Okay, you have made a ridiculous amount of six less I'm, I'm, I'm surviving amazingly for the situation. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm starting to feel less beleaguered by the sheer amount of plasma coming my way. So one of, so one arc, and this guy will go into the tyrant. These, only these two will go into the, into the prince. Nothing. And then I think it's only one shot from the arc. It hits, uh, it wounds. Uh, the heavy arc rifle is probably only AP one is my guess. Man, oh man, that knight is taking a hellish amount of firepower, but it does go down. So, my tyrant has lost his last wound. We're seeing if he explodes. On a four plus, however, it's gonna get back up if it doesn't explode because that's the warlord trait that Tycho took. No explosion. Which means at the end of this shooting phase, after all the shooting is done, which I think is actually right now, uh, I get to roll a die. So, my tyrant rises Let's see if from it does. his burning uh, grave. I don't want to. Four or higher. Oh, oh, lots of twos. Oh no, it doesn't get back up. There's no way to re-roll that. My, my tyrant has failed to rise. House Herpatrex has failed him. Ivol the undefeated is now defeated. I gotta come up with a new name for him. That's really unfortunate, and that may have signaled the beginning of the end for Tycho. Can Tax score fast enough in these last turns to catch him? Whew, and a turn. Tax scored five more for Bring It Down, two more for Engage in All Fronts, giving him a mid turn score of 22 to Tycho's 25. He's closing that gap. Tycho gains a command point on his half of the turn to go to one to tax three remaining and he scores five more on primary. With the Night Tyrant down though, it's up to his remaining rapidly dwindling forces to keep scoring for him, and it looks like that's what he's doing. I'm really worried about this. In he comes! In he comes. I'm gonna try and dumpster things. Oh, he's hoping he'll charge onto that. Munch up those guys, we'll see. Demon Prince is gonna mosey on over and say, hey, I like this objective. So moving on to your psychic phase. Yeah, so um, I might as well just try and zap a breacher. Mm -hmm. Zapping breacher! Three Ooh. damage! I zapped a breacher! So that breacher is dead. I've lost a breacher to the second phase. I killed stuff. And now I'm going to uh, plague spew these ranger guys. We got three spews and AP one on the plague spear. Correct. So I need flavor. to uh, make five ups. Salt any flavor. I make one, so two go down. Mm. So you uh, you took out the arc rifle. Yay! My plague burst crawler is gonna plague burst some things. All right, so let's do the entropy cannons, one into each, the mortar and the volley or the heavy slugger into him. To the dealers. Mortar. Okay. Two shots. Hit on fives. Nothing, and you can't reroll because uh, your slugger. Care. Hits. Two hits. Uh, take how many wounds? Two. Entropy cannon into him. Yep. Entropy cannon into him. Yep. So you can roll ones for hitting, but you roll sixes on involves. And uh, that will be it for my shooting phase, looks yep. like. Plague more to charge as well as a demon print, some havoc being wreaked for sure. And he will be using claws. All right. So uh, hitting on twos, you're rolling ones. Uh, you're you winning on two. That's, uh, you know, I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, they're dead. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. <laughs> My OPSEC unit is gone. So that's a big deal. So now you go over to the Fed Blow drone. He's going to now attack my infiltrators. He is indeed. Hitting on fours, rerolling nothing. Yep. So, you know, there's that. Chew him up, Peggy! 
I have five guys there to like five hits. Yeah, Winning so on twos, AP two, and they they re-roll ones. Yeah. So they go to my six up saves. So if you make any of these, you stick around. Yeah. Sixes! Oh, Two sixes! No! So my infiltrators will be fighting back against your Federal Bullet Drone. Uh, three attacks from the Princep, two attacks from the other infiltrator. Um, but those oh, are all hits. Uh, I will be wounding on fives. Two! Armor saves. Do your Disgusting Resilient and you I pass. I don't even feel it. Um, that is the end of the turn. Um, so I'm gonna go for the roll in the morale phase. Yeah, I'm passed. <laughs> End of turn, and Tycho scored three more for domination, giving us an end of turn three score of 33 to 22 in favor of Tycho. I'm not sure he can hold on. Tack is closing that gap, but with Tycho's big hitting prints in combat, it could be really hard to take him down. Tack goes up to four command points and gains again zero on primary, and he's lost his only banner. All right, uh, so we're heading into turn four. Um, and I'm in trouble. You've done a very good job scoring where you need to. Pushing and it back. I am running out of time to catch you. In my movement phase, I've got to be very careful with my movement to ensure that somehow or other I can also score on my table quarters. The data list, as he is going to run. Uh, you did not kill him. And uh, there is the key <laughs> right in the middle there. Uh, thank you very much, Psycho, for doing the sound effects for my data loss. Uh, so he's going to advance onto there. Some zoning out and shifting for Tack here, and he's looking to bring some hurt if he can. Wrath of Mars for two command points with his Taraxi, hoping to dish out some serious mortal wounds on that Prince, and the Protector Doctrina Imperative giving them plus one to hit as well. He really needs to take that Prince down. The Daedalus is going to elect that your Pegris Crawler is a uh, plus one hit. Okay. Sorry, end of movement phase, I will try to repair the tank. Uh, three, so he's up to ten. Okay, so going to the shooting phase, um, this is where shooting party is going to lose me the game or win me the game. So this is the pistol. It is in front, 12 inches away. Yep, yep. Otherwise, all their other guns are 24 inches. Yep, anyway, they are hitting on twos, okay. re-rolling ones. Okay. So they're strength three, so they only mortal on sixes. And I think the mortal overrides the actual like wounding of the pistol. Just, yeah, it takes off that. It's disturbing. Oh my god. Oh uh, god, god! I, the I holy hell is that? Two... Three, four, five, six. So six wounds six. plus six mortals. Correct. Uh, five ups. And we'll see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> For Papa Nago. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Not enough. Uh, no. Does he bone? He doesn't bone. So I guess the plasma will now go into your prince. Uh, two hits. Wounding on threes. Uh, two wounds, maybe three, and just so do five up either way. Five up either way, yeah, yeah. Wow. Nine. Ooh, okay. I'm going to shoot backwards. E6 on you. <laughs> With the this guy that's so close to him is going to actually go uh, that way because he gets D6 on him. Hitting on so two shots. Hitting on uh, fours. Rerolling. Uh, both hit. So wounding on fours. Only oh. one. AP2. Okay. I needed that to go through because that's a D6. Uh, the Lance will go into him. So, he hits. On a three. That's oh, a one. That's a one. It's a D3 weapon. So, I think I'm going to burn it. Uh, how many wounds left? Three. Three. All right, so I need that. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Wow! Oh, I'll have to re-roll one of those! Yeah. Oof! Talk about a tank! Tycho's got to re-roll a save here, and that uses his last command point, but the Prince is still up! Tack is going to have to charge the Prince, a place he doesn't want to be unless he can take him down with his last couple of shooting units. He's down to one solitary wound! All right, um... Call. Call, do things. Two. One well, shot. One shot. Hits on a... Yeah, that. Uh, this is strength 10. So that is a wound, AP4. He's okay. He's okay, because I would have done D3. So I'm going to fire Stubbers into here. All the other guns that this thing has will go into the critical drone. No, hit with everything. I hit with everything, plus oh, yeah. three, six. Plus three hits on top of that. 
12 hits with nine shots. Uh, that is one, two, one, three, two, four. Four. Yay. Four no EP. Uh, you'll be fine because you've got a two up with suffocating. No, no, no. You haven't seen my dice yet. Yeah, see? Uh, you're fine. How many shots from the Belarus? I get uh, five shots into your Fated Blood Drone. Uh, that's not going to do much. That's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. That is four extra hits? How am I not supposed to be salty over this? Come on! <laughs> Five. At nice. AP one, two damage each. He takes four. Uh, four. So four disgustings. He only takes two. They're gonna, he's gonna try to charge to the prince, make way for call. Uh, that's a six, so he makes it in. Go that way to try to make room for call. So, but I rolled a I 10. Yeah, I can go around. Uh, so I'm gonna start the fight phase now. With the fight phase, I'm gonna go with Belisarius Call first. Belisarius Call is going to fight into the Demon Prince first. I get four attacks with his axe. I'm hitting on twos. And wounding on fives and sixes. So this may not go well for me. Oh, uh, two, AP two. Five, two damage. Oh, oh wow. Lord. So that's four damage? That's four damage. I needed one of those. Oh, yeah, man. wow. Mm. My luck is not holding. Nope, the prince is down, the prince is down. Holy cow, the prince is down. Oh, this spells the end of it for Tycho, I think. His lead just isn't enough. Tack is gonna score two more for engaging all fronts, bringing that to six so far. 15 on Bring It Down, maxing out that secondary, and he doesn't have any banner raise points as Tycho has managed to take them away from him, but he is going to be able to raise two more this turn. Combine that with five total on his primary, he's going to take him to 26. However, Tycho only has 33, and Tack has basically a free turn to score points here. Now, what a swingy game. Undirty word believable. Had the knight stayed up, Tack was done. Maybe overcharging Plasma wasn't the best call and doing all those mortal wounds to himself. Maybe the Emperor does protect. Maybe all things will come to Papa Nurgle. Final score is gonna be 10 primary, 23 secondary, and 10 paint to total 43 for Tycho, to tax 15 primary, 28 secondary, and 10 paint to make 53 points for your winner, Tack Kawana and his Adeptus Mechanicus. What an incredibly close game. Big thank you to Tack and Tycho for providing us the real nail biter of a game and to Frontline Gaming for sponsoring our championship series and for sending us these mats. Wow, the admin can bring the hurt. They certainly uh, do. Especially if I go first. So Steven, Steven, this is happening. This is happening for a uh, for top table. This is happening for the championship. I'm coming after you. Whew, nail biter. That was, that was I, I felt like I suffered catastrophic damage right off the bat, but I was struggling to get back in there and stay in objectives. I hate to say that it really comes down to who goes first, but against the Tyrant, I had to do the damage before it did damage to me. Tack is a damn good player, and even in situations where he looks like there is no hope for him, he finds a way. In ninth edition, because there's always points to be had, you do not give up. Even if you're behind, you kind of, you have to look long game. You've got to see, where the attrition's gonna occur, and you gotta just keep grinding it out. Sadly, the key is out of my reach, but there's some Tau to be had. I'm gonna go kill some Tau, it's gonna be fun. Steven has a really good list. He's figured out something with little Black Templar, right? And his luck is turned, so I think I might be in trouble for the next one, but we'll see. I think I figured out something with the Admic guns. They're doing really well for me. So it'll be guns versus armor. Best of luck to Tack, who goes on to face Steve in our Season 2 Final Championship. However, the defeated forces will be squaring off in a best of the rest contest to see who really does finish dead last. So stay tuned.